going live, going live, feeling wild, feeling wild. Okay, okay, hello and welcome everybody. Um, I think I'm just going live on a couple of different platforms here, so I'll give it a second and take big sips of water. Mm. Hydration. Okay, 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 okay. Put a couple things in here. It's a podcast. So while I am doing it, I cannot comment here. I will comment after I am finished. Finished. Okay. I will today's broker I will respond slash comment after I am finished. Okay. I will tap to two but do copy. Luigi. What's happening, Luigi? Okay, just letting everybody know that uh, I am gonna be doing the podcast today in about about 14 minutes or so. So I'm going to do some uh, testing. I'm going to be recording this over here whilst we do all these other stuff here. So I'm going to check on my uh, volume, my volume. My volume. It's Italian. A volume. Okay, uh, check, check, one, two, one, two. That's pretty solid. Okay, <clears throat> so, yeah, I think it's good. So we're going to be ready for that. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Lots going on here today. And, okay. So I've been having an interesting uh, interesting week here. We had, Declan went to uh, pre-kinder for the second time yesterday. He loved it. He loves it. I mean, crazy about it. Um, and, uh, uh it's nice to have a little bit of time for ourselves. This is funny. I think I mentioned this yesterday that Kim said, she's like, hey, you know what? We actually went to our first breakfast together, a first meal out without him. And I was like, wow, in six months. Whew, that's a lot. Uh, you released your first episode of your podcast today. Fantastic. So you're doing it on your YouTube channel. Are you using, uh, are you going to put it out on iTunes as well? Luigi, because if you do, I recommend Libsyn, uh, L-I-B-S-Y-N. That's what I use to schedule all of my uh, podcasts. And I'm like, gosh, how many podcasts am I behind? Because I'm going to add this one today, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I have six podcasts I need to upload and schedule. Man, I'm doing a lot of talking. That's what I'm doing. Lots of talking. Hey, Ashley, what's up? Good to see you. Um, and today, um, I am bringing you I scream, you scream, we all scream for outrage. Uh, interesting take on today's mindset on the YouTube channel. Okay, cool. Mm. So again, Luigi, I am uh, recommending StreamYard. Uh, that's what I have come across, and I'm just like loving StreamYard. Loving it. So simple, so easy. Makes everything easy, easy peasy. Um, and I can give you a, a link if you want to look at it. So I don't like getting any money out of it, apparently, but at least it's uh, it's something that, like, down the road, I'll get a little extra, like, credit for something. I don't know. But it's fun. I need to work on my referral stuff anyway. I mean, affiliate programs are pretty solid. All right. So... Glad to see you guys are here. Anybody who wants to pop on in, come say hi. Today we're going to be talking about uh, some mindset techniques to get you guys out of outrage because I'm watching what's going on, especially with uh, politics and COVID and all this. I'm like, oh, dude, this is crazy. It's crazy. So uh, and it's something that I see. I've seen for a long time, and I've had people that um, – good job, Ashley. I think I got like a 1,000. I'm right around a 1,000 on YouTube, and uh, I'm going to reach mil. Mill, 
That's what I'm saying. A mill. Um, but when that's going to happen, I don't know. But it will happen. Because um, I don't really... I haven't really utilized YouTube as well as I should, and uh, or I, as well as I could. I don't say should, but I'm messing this up a little bit there. You can see me a little better. Otherwise, I can slouch and go, "Hi, how you doing? Hey, everybody, good to see you." Not a lot of um, energy in this particular raw uh, situation. So, mm, kind of, it's weird. I've never had like a mustache. I, I had like once for uh, when I was auditioning for the Alamo, yeah, the Alamo back in the '90s, and uh, but uh, it's yeah, this is interesting. Kim likes it. I said, yeah, I'm a little bit D'Artagnan and a little bit Colonel Sanders, so it's like I don't know. She likes it, so I'll keep it for a while. See what happens. Uh, hope to reach a mill one day, but need to do something real kick ass. Well, first of all, you have to stop saying you hope. Hope is not a plan. So just go do some kick ass. That's what I'm doing. Some kind of kick ass. And I'm just going to keep on going. But it's also about, you know, continuing because I've been doing this for quite a while. And, you know, some days I have like, you know, five, four or five people on. Some days I'll have like, you know, 20 or so, but I haven't had like 50 to 100 at, at the same time. And that just means it's harder uh, when you do it and you don't see the results. Uh, but it's like anything else. It's it's work. You have to do the work and keep going and keep going. As I said before, it's becoming that person. You don't get all the accolades. You don't get the trophy without becoming that person. You don't just go, okay, well, I'm going to get that trophy. And once I get that trophy, I'm going to feel really good about myself because I'll be that person. No, you become that person before you get that trophy. Uh, yeah, release your content and be done with it. Well, I thank you, William. It is nice, actually. It's, it's sort of, this is about all I got, man. I've got, I got little tufts over here and here and a little bit under here, and that's it. And I ain't going with that underbeard stupidity. That looks ridiculous. So, anyway, that's just bizarro, man. It's like you're, you got a chinchilla stuck under your neck. Er, chinchilla. It's very bizarre. So anyway, so that's what's happening over here, guys. I am uh, looking at some uh, – I'm actually looking at cooking schools today. I checked them, some of them out, and they're all pretty easy. It's just I go out to the tram here and take the tram up a few stops, and then there they are. So that's easy enough. Uh, so it finally gets lost when I go for a ride downtown with him and he flares up his rage. Thanks, Carl. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but okay. I'm sorry. Lost for a ride. I go for a ride downtown. I don't know what's up there. Hey, Lar says, I don't know what that means, but glad to have you. Glad to have you here on my podcast. So one thing that I'm going to let you guys know, and I'm going to keep doing this. I will post this once again after I get started in about seven minutes. Um, I, as most of you guys that have been here with me before, you know, when I'm doing my podcast, I cannot talk to you. Uh, you can comment all you want, but I can't get to that until I'm done with my podcast because I'm recording my podcast, and that goes out on iTunes, which, by the way, you should check out the Mind Scrambler podcast, of course, because it's awesome. It's, like, super awesome. Well, let me, I'm going to give you that link, too. Here we go. Bam. So for everybody, everybody, here it is. Pow. Click on that and go check out my uh, fantabulous podcast. Mind Scrambler podcast on iTunes. Um, listen to it, subscribe to it, leave me comments, five star reviews, all that good stuff. I got a lot of good, uh, a lot of good coaching, uh, coaching really. It's not coaching, but it's a lot of good trainings, tips, trainings, techniques uh, to improve your life, personal growth, self help, things that I've used personally that I know work. Uh, that way, I don't preach stuff that I don't believe in because I know what the stuff's out. The pod is about, it's called the Mind Scrambler, and it's all about tips, techniques. It's all about personal growth and self-help. Uh, it's predominantly right now, I'm, I'm reaching out to the nerd and geek world, but I train business people. I train you know, people who run want to run businesses, people who are in business. I've coached some people who are like seven-figure earners. So it's like I my, my thing is relationships, communication, and connection. 
So uh, my mind scrambler is all about that. Working your mindset to be able to connect, communicate better with other people, which really gives you uh, influence and gives you strategy to help be a better person, you know, overall. There's a lot that goes into it. There's NLP, there's bank code, there's uh, high performance, there's Tony Robbins type stuff. It's, you know, we've had a lot of, my wife and I both had a lot of really amazing coaches and we still do currently. So a lot of the things that uh, I'm bringing to you are being brought to me directly from some of the best coaches on the planet. So, and they're going through my filter, which is, you know, sometimes sort of weird, which is totally fine because that's the way I work. Sometimes I do it in different voices like this. So maybe I'll talk like this for a while. Hey, let's talk about self-improvement for a minute. Or not. I mean, you know, it might come across better if I talk like this for a moment. Let's talk about the real you. What's underneath all those layers? Um, Peel the onion. You know, that kind of thing. But it's a lot of fun. I have fun. It's like personal growth with, with fun. Have some, have some laughs, you know. Uh, it's like dating. When I teach dating, and people are like going, "Oh, dating is so hard, man. There's so many, so many problems out there. So it's so." La, 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 la. And I'm like, "Dude, you're not having fun. And if you're not having fun, guess what? Your dates aren't having fun. So first off, have some fun." And David Stevens, what's up, brother? What's happening? So David Stevens, three hundred. Have I? Are you following me on Twitch? I don't know if you are. If you're not, please do so. And you can just do the same thing on subscribe on my YouTube channel. Uh, right now, some of you guys may not know this, but I'm I'm streaming out to my Facebook group. I mean, my Facebook uh, page, uh, YouTube, my YouTube page, and uh, Twitch at the same time. So they're all together right now. So that's what's cool on my end. That's why StreamYard is so cool for me. It's allowing me to expand my reach a little bit more, and I'm looking at, I wonder if I could do – you are sub to my podcast, William Anderson. Fantastic. I love it. Fantastic. Thank you so much, William. And please remember, please go give me five-star reviews and uh, leave some comments and, and tell people, hey, this is an amazing podcast and here's why. That sort of thing. It helps me out. Every little bit helps me out, guys. Um, and uh, let's see. So William coming to, uh, to me from Facebook Okay, very, very cool. If William, if you are not, let me do this as well. If you guys want to get on my email list, you may, you may not. I don't know. It's a possibility. If you do, that's great. I would love to have you there. Um, let's see, where do I keep that link? Here we go. So we are going to check out this right here. That needs to go there. Here we go. So I think this is the right link. Let me see. I'm going to test it out real quick, make sure it's the right link so I don't send you guys astray. I don't want to send you astray. There it is. Okay. Link a bunk a bunk. That's it. Perfect. So uh, I'm going to put this in here. This is uh, my fan club. Boop. Bink. Now, if you do that, so. Uh, the fan club, that is where you can get on my email list. That's my thing. So that way you know what's going on, and I can tell you when things are happening, like uh, when I open up the Reluctant Heroes Journey membership group again in a couple of months, or like the BHCC Con, which is happening tomorrow. What is that? Today's Friday here? In two days. So it's happening Saturday in two days on, uh, in – the U.S., which will be Sunday, my day, but it'll be Saturday for you guys. And BHCC Con is uh, you can go there and you can uh, buy one on one with me, Amanda Winley, Tiffany Grant, uh, and Allison, uh, all the the main people in the OG Evangelion. If you're a fan, uh, that's going to be a really cool thing. Um, and so go check that out. It's uh, under Color World. Uh, let me see if I can find that link as well. Let's do it. Here we go. Uh, maybe that's I had it. It was in my stuff. Let's see here. Where is the link? 
Where is my link? Link a dink a dink a dink a dink a dink a do. Oh, I think I have to look under something else. That's cool. They, I see. Hold on. I think that was it. There we go. I think this is it. Wop a donk a doo bop boo. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Hmm. Hold on. I had it. Oh, you know what? I just put it in. I, I just did a post on Facebook, my Facebook page. And um, what is going on? Where is this thing? There it is. Found it. Found it. Stop your grinning and drop your linen. Found it. There you go. This is what's happening. This weekend. We can go do that stuff. Pick stuff up. So the fan club gets you on the list. And uh, bah, 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 bah. thank you, William. I appreciate it. Go listen. Check it all out. So, yeah, it is time for my podcast now, guys. So today I am talking about I scream, you scream, we all scream for outrage. Because everybody is freaking outraged these days. I don't know what's going on. But it's how to not be a trigger victim. Because if you're an outraged, you're at somebody else's whim. All right. Let's talk about it. Hey, everybody outside, shut up. I'm doing a podcast. Thank you very much for your concern. I don't think they're listening. All right, it doesn't matter. We're live. Okay, remember, I can't say anything until we're done with this. Oh, shoot. No, no, stop that. Hold on, let me post that one more time. Well, you guys know. You guys know. So if anybody comes on and says, why isn't he talking to me? Just someone of you guys, please pipe up and say he's doing a podcast. He'll be done in a minute, and then he'll talk to you. There we go. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Mind Scrambler podcast. I am Spike Spencer, your host with the most fabulous goatee right now. I'm working on something. You can't see it, but if you're on you know, YouTube watching on YouTube live, or uh, on my Facebook or Twitch or wherever it is, you can see I look a little bit like uh, D'Artagnan uh, meets uh, Colonel Sanders, I think. Something like that. I don't know. My wife likes it. So, yay, we're going to keep it. So today I have an interesting topic, uh, which works really well for the way the world is going right now. Uh, today is uh, la, 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 the third uh, or fourth, third or fourth, depending on where you are, of September. Fourth uh, of September here for me in Australia, the third uh, over in the States. And we're still, people are under quarantine. We've got the COVID going on, pandemic. People are losing their uh, jobs and, and livelihoods. And uh, it's an absolute mess. A lot of property foreclosures, uh, a lot of things, a lot of really, really bad things are happening. And it seems like everybody's helpless. And then, of course, there's the political things happening in uh, the U.S. Uh, the elections are coming up in a couple months. Is it there? Yeah, in the, very soon. So it's ramping up. So everybody's uh, all outraged about something new every day. And uh, so the topic today is called I Scream, You Scream. We all scream for outrage. And uh, which some of you will remember the ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. It was fun. But now it seems like nobody cares about ice cream. They just want to be pissed. So today is how to not be triggered by world events, how to not be a trigger victim. Uh, and this is an interesting one because this is just by talking about triggers, it triggers people sometimes. It's so interesting. I posted things about triggering and I coach people in processes that helps PTSD, that helps get rid of triggers, that helps get rid of all these things. And people are like going, well, triggers are very, triggers are very important. Triggers are la, 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 la. I'm like, well, yes, they can be. Absolutely. I'm not discounting that. And if you need help, if you need actual, not coaching help, which is what I do, but if you need actual medical attention, get it. I'm not telling anybody not to get it, but also to understand what a trigger is is. See, a trigger is something that just pisses you off or sets you off. And in medical terms, like shell shock, things of that nature, a trigger could be fireworks, a trigger could be shouting, loud noises, etc. And that's a problem. That's something that has to be dealt with absolutely on a medical basis. 
Most people, though, nowadays, they say trigger. Oh, I was triggered. And it's like, I'm not talking about the medical side. I'm talking about the regular, everyday, quote unquote, triggering that people experience. And what that is, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that is a choice. That is a reaction. That is a short fuse. And that is something you can get past. And that is something you can work on. And there are therapies, there are uh, trainings and tips and techniques and all of that to help you do that. And today, we're going to talk about that. So if you want to stop being triggered by things, then listen up, people. It's time to talk about it and understand what it is. So let's talk about it for a second. Let's break it down. If you are being triggered by what other people say, then the issue is 100% with you, not with them. It's time to take ownership. Because you are not in charge of other people's opinions. You are not in charge of other people's lives and decisions. You are not. So therefore, they are free to make theirs. You don't want somebody in charge of your decisions, your opinions, your life, right? Well, same thing with other people. You have to give them that respect and understand that that's what adults do. Other people have their own opinions. Every single person on this planet, billions and billions and billions, have their own opinions. Some agree with you. Some do not. Some are completely out there on left field and some are whatever. It doesn't matter. They're everywhere and they can be anything. And that's the beauty of this world. We have a lot of diversity. And yet, if anyone is diverse in their opinions that triggers you, then... That's a problem. Yet diversity, 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 unless you think differently from us, then, well, we have a problem. No, you have a problem. And what is that problem? Well, closed-mindedness is, is one part of it, but it's also the fact that you are living your life as a victim. And now what does that mean? There's a term called cause versus effect. And I talk about this a lot in some of my other podcasts, but I want to uh, lay it out just real quick and why it's so important so you're, that you're not triggered. Cause and effect states this, either you are at cause 100% or you, at effect, or you are at effect 100%. And what that means, if you are at cause, then you are in charge of everything that happens in your life. Good, bad, ugly, doesn't matter. You are in charge. You are responsible. It was because of you, no matter what it is. I'm not saying it's good, bad, it's saying things happen, it's terrible, blah, 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 blah. But it's your mindset that matters. You know, horrible things do happen in this world, but you say, okay, how can I be in charge of my mindset at this moment in time? How do I put myself with 100% responsibility? I did this. Now, how do I get out of it? That's cause, 100% cause. At effect, you are 100% at effect of the world. 100% at effect of anything that happens. And you have zero power, zero. At cause, 100% power. At effect, 0% power. If you're at 0% power, then if you are powerless, then obviously you're going to be upset very easily because there's nothing harder than having no power. Oh my gosh, it is, it's frustrating. It's angering. It's depressing. It's futile. And you're like, ah. And that's where most people are living their lives on a daily basis. So when you get that and you understand that, if you are being triggered easily by what somebody types into the social or whatever, then you are at effect. You are that little plastic bag in the wind, just going anywhere else. Like, oh no, I'm hurt over here. I'm hurt over here. It doesn't matter. I'm just floating around. You have zero power over where you want to be. When you make that decision, it says, okay, I'm 100% in charge of my life, everything. I have no money in the bank. I'm looking in the mirror. That's me. That's my fault. I don't have a good relationship right now. I'm looking in the mirror. That's me. My fault. Now, if you can look at yourself that way, then you now are taking power. You are now getting to cause. You are becoming, stepping into that, being that person. And that is awesome because when you're 100% at cause, People's opinions don't hurt you. It's like, I don't care. Somebody says, I don't like you. Nifty. So what? So what now what? 
what, 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 why do I care? I don't even know you. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Because somebody, there's always going to be people that don't like you. There are people who love you, people who like you, people that don't care. It doesn't matter. So this triggering issue that somebody types something, writes something, makes you upset, and you're just, you're triggered means, oh, I was triggered. It was not my fault that I made the decision to be in anger. Well, actually, anger is a choice. Anger is a choice because now if there's a, a, a true reaction, if it is warranted and just, then yeah, sure, there is a reaction that happens. You know, somebody throws a punch at you and you block it and punch them or you kick them or whatever, or somebody shouts at you, you shout out right back, you know, just to, to break state, to get them to stop. Okay, that's a reaction. That's not a trigger. It's a reaction. And that's a warranted and just reaction. Okay. But if 10 minutes later, uh, 20 minutes later, you're still angry because somebody cut you off, you made a choice to be angry, to hold on to that anger. And so you have to understand that you have a choice to not be triggered. Think about that for a second. That's cause. That is 100%. You are in charge. No one else is in charge of your head. Do you understand that? No one else is in charge of your emotions, your reactions, the things you say, the opinions you have. No one else is in charge of that. Own that. And then you have to decide, hey, do I like these reactions? Do I like being quote unquote triggered all the time? Do I like the fact that uh, I'm walking around in anger because God knows what happened today in a political sense or somebody said something online or whatever it is that I'm walking around every day being mad. Is that inviting? Is that magnetizing? Is that attractive to other human beings? I hope your answer is no. No, it is not. Like, for example, do you ever like step into an elevator with somebody? Hi, how are you doing? I'm okay this today. Good to see you. Great. In about three seconds, they say, so did you hear what Trump did today? Or whatever, political, whatever. And it's like, you know what? A, you don't know me. B, I don't care. And C, why do you have to go straight to something that is pissing you off? You know what I mean? That energy that you're giving to someone else is just, I'm pissed off. Well, you should be pissed off too. Well, they want you to be pissed off because it validates their being pissed off. So what happens is something triggers them and they keep working with it. So it's an ongoing trigger. It's like a machine gun. It just keeps going. Bap, 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 Instead of the one shot, bam, I'm mad. Oh, oh, okay. That's good. I got that out of my system and now I'm going to go on with my day. Hello, my little three-year-old son. Uh, hello, my beautiful wife. I'm going to think about you now. Instead of, you know, hi, honey. Did you hear what Trump did today? And I heard the same thing during Bush, Obama. It doesn't matter. You know, pick your political candidate. Somebody's like, did you hear what they did today? I, I don't care. And you shouldn't either. You know why I say that? Some of you, oh, some of you just went, what? We should care. Oh, my God, it's our life. Well, actually, you know what? You made it through all the other uh, presidents, whether you like them or dislike them. You lived through them all. And each one of them was going to end the world or destroy capitalism or destroy whatever, whatever it was. They're all going to destroy something. It doesn't matter. I've seen it over and over again since freaking Ford. So I'm a little older. It doesn't change. It has not changed. It does not change. It will not change. It will continue to go forward and forward and forward. But your anger is your choice. And who wants to go around all day long with somebody that's all, did you hear about that? Did you hear about this? It's like, you know what I heard about? I heard about the fact that I have a loving family. I heard about the fact that I have a roof over my head. I heard the fact that I have water to drink. I have food to eat. I have friends that know and love me. I have the ability to talk in front of the world for next to nothing. Technology, it's amazing. Living in that arena of thought is so much more engaging than living in the arena, the closed arena of your own anger. 
And that's when you say I was triggered, that just means that you are a victim of your own anger. And you can choose to get out of that. And let me go a little further with this. And maybe a little reasoning will help to dispel some of the myths. If you have anger because of what some political person, some media person does, who you don't know, you've probably never met, you have no relationship to whatsoever, you are not even a speck of interest in their brain at all. They have their own life to live. And you allow them to rule over your life, then who's got the problem? Think about that for a second. Who has the problem? They don't know you. They're going to make their decisions however they make their decisions. You have to make your decisions that are best for you in your life, with your family, and for your well-being. And I will tell you right now, any of this toxic triggering BS that you're letting yourself be a victim to is hurting your immune system. Right now, that is not a good thing. During a pandemic, you want your immune system as high up as you can get it. So we want to think healthy thoughts, happy thoughts, gratitude thoughts. Being triggered by some jackball who has a, an affair somewhere in Podunk, Wisconsin, who cares? It does not affect your life in any way, unless you're one of the people involved in the situation. But overall, the chances are very small that that's going to happen, right? So why are you letting these things, this tabloid mentality, whatever the Kardashians are doing or whatever's on the, the TV, or who cares? Who gives a damn? It doesn't affect your life. You know what does affect your life is your attitude. Your attitude. And if you can be in gratitude for the things that you have right now, then you will get more of that. It's not only, I mean, it's biblical, it's quantum physics, it's energy, it's frequency, it's vibration, it's all that stuff. It's, it's personal growth, it's, it's mindset. What you think is who you are. What you believe you can achieve, that's true. Uh, I think it was Henry Ford uh, said, you know, if you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. So why are you letting other people's beliefs affect your life? Simple question. How can you be triggered if you don't have a trigger? You can't be triggered if you're not a loaded gun. So unload. <laughs> Get rid of it. Get rid of the ammo. Don't give them ammo. Because other people's decisions, number one, are theirs. Decisions, choices, opinions. That's other people's. And that is none of your damn business. Understand that. None of your business. Just as if you would say, somebody says, well, here's how I feel about my opinion. Nobody gives a crap. Nobody cares. So don't worry about it. You don't care what anybody else says. Hey, this is my opinion. This is my belief. Great. It's yours. Good on you. Now, if you want to spout your opinion in something like, like what I'm doing here, great. I mean, I'm backing mine up with a lot of you know, coaching. It's not, this is not just simple opinion. These are things that I'm helping you with that you can actually utilize if you want to, to stop this triggering avalanche that seems to be everywhere. It seems to be, oh my gosh, everyone is in fear. Everyone's in anger. Everyone is so quick to just lash out at each other. And it's insane. You know, because before the internet stuff, you would never do that to people because you would be face to face with them and they might punch you, you know, and <laughs> that's true. Now it's like, well, I, I can be a superhero here. I'm a warrior because I, da, da, da. oh my God, they said something that triggered me. I'm upset. Ah, and off you go. So everyone's on this, this little hair trigger thing. Now let me I'll help you out with a, a little bit of this here. The things that you're mad about, most of them are not true. Think about that for a second. Hold on. Stick with me. When something gets to you, a piece of information gets to you, it has gone through usually many, many filters. We have lots of filters. Just the filters that you have in your own mind are amazing. Let's start there. About, I believe it's known, uh, I think this is in the Britannia, the theater, uh, what is it? The, anyway, this is well known. It's the senses, our senses gather some 11 million bits per second. 
11 million bits per second from the environment. Okay. So in other words, the, the human body sends 11 million bits of information to process into the brain per second. The conscious mind can only process 50 bits per second. Think about that for a second. So you have to distort, delete, ignore, process, get rid of what you think is important, what isn't important. So that's what's happening consistently just in your own brain. Now, that's happening in everybody else's brains too. And any information that gets put out somewhere is going through a media filter. So the news has already gone through filters, filter, 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 comes down through you, and they give you only enough information that they want to give you. So you don't have the whole story. And then you say, oh, well, I'm going to go down this rabbit hole. I'm going to go do some research through other people's filters, other people's filters, other people's filters. So there's so many distortions, deletions. It's very hard to get to the truth, the 100% truth, right? So if you're mad at something that's just a headline, then you are easily triggered, my friend, because I look at a headline and go, huh, so that's what they said. Great. Do I believe it? No, I don't. I don't believe almost anything that isn't print, anything that isn't video, anything that isn't news. I don't believe it because I know I've dealt with this stuff before. I've, I've given news before. It's like, wow, that's news. What is that? And you look at it, you have five seconds to give a story. In a, in a sound bite, yep, 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 yep. So how you word something is incredibly important. So understand all of these bits, all this information that is coming to you, you have to first be skeptical and say, oh, so that's what they said. That's it. That's it. So that's what they reported. So that's what they said. If you are automatically angry at it, then you've been triggered. Then you have a hair trigger and that you were easily angered, and you are at effect. And that's what they're going for, because when you're at effect, you are glued to the screen. You are theirs, baby. When you are at cause, you go, huh, so that's what happened. Right. I don't care. I'm going about my life, because it's my life, and I'm in charge of it. I think I'm going to be doing a, uh, I may do a whole podcast on this, but I don't care who wins the presidency. I literally don't care. It doesn't affect my life, literally, because if they do something that affects my life in some way, I'm going to pivot. I'm going to do something else. We all do. You've made it through every president up till now, and you're probably doing okay, because if you're listening to this right now, you've got technology in your hands, which is way more powerful than how they sent the guys to the moon. You got, a, you got an iPhone, probably. You have computers. How many computers do you have? How many television screens do you have? You know, do you have a home? Do you have an apartment? Do you have a car? You're already in the top 1%. If you're listening to this, you're probably already in the top 1% of the world. And yet, you're so easily triggered. Oh my gosh, this president, that president is going to win. And everything's going to be blah, 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 blah. Like I said, I've heard that every president since Ford. So it's kind of crazy. If you're thinking that that's going to affect you, if something that they do affects you, let me take it even further. I don't care. I'm not pol political, so this is not a political thing at all. But I'm going to talk about politics for just a second because, for example, whenever somebody posts a political story, oh, look what Trump did. Oh, look what Biden did. Oh, look what such and such did uh, for a, a bill or something like that. I'm telling you, 99% of the time, it is not 100% true. There are so many things that you don't know. I don't care which side you're on because politics is crazy. You have a bill. Oh, this is a bill, a water, uh, a bill for uh, building a bridge in so-and-so town. And they tack on all kinds of crazy things onto that bill that have nothing to do with that bill. So when they say, oh, he defunded this, it's like, no, he voted for a bridge and somebody snuck something in there and now they're using that to pound them on. That's called politics, guys. If you don't know that by now, you need to do some serious educational work and then say, wait a minute, our education system isn't really teaching us anything, are they? But the point is, how are you going to be mad if you know, oh, wait a minute, I don't know the whole story. I don't have context. 
And most of the time you never will have context. So take away the trigger, take away the ammunition. It doesn't need to be there because you don't have to be angry because you don't know the whole story. If you're being angry with half a story or 0.05% of a story, the rest of that story, a lot of time will come back and go, oh, okay, that makes sense. I understand how all of this works. I may not agree with them. I don't think that's a great choice, but I see the whole thing. I see the matrix now, how that whole thing works. It's called understanding. Once you have that understanding, then you're not mad anymore. You're not just triggered. You're, you're looking into it. You're having discussions and saying, you know what? I really want to try to get to the truth rather than just go directly into anger, which is a choice. And then you put it off as somebody else's responsibility where you triggered me. It's like, well, that's just crazy because no, you reacted and not in a warranted and justified way. You just got angry. You acted out of emotion because you have that, you made that choice because you can't trigger somebody if you don't know what the trigger is. So if somebody says, hey, I am, I like, I like cake. Well, one person somewhere in this world, when you say, I like cake, that's a trigger. And they go off the rails and start acting crazy. Well, you just said you like cake. They reacted. Now, you can call that a trigger. You can call that just uh, something very interesting to that needs to be dealt with in a medical facility, possibly. That's That can happen. There are treatments for that. And again, I'm not talking about that kind of deep stuff. I'm talking about the everyday triggering that people are letting themselves be victimized. And these are the techniques that can help you. Because if you look at through these fa factors, and I think I'm going to have to wrap this up here in just a second. Yeah, I got five minutes or so. So let me wrap. Let me give you a, a whole wrap up here of what we went through today. Think about it from the standpoint is, are you at cause being 100% responsible for everything in your life? Or are you at effect being 100% a victim of everything outside of you in your life? The goal is to be 100% at cause because that's where your power lies. If you're 100% at effect, then you have zero power. Obviously, that is a place where you have the loaded weapon that is easily triggered because you're full of anger, sadness, fear, guilt, shame, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's not a strong place to be. So we want to process and get over to the side where we are 100% in charge of our own lives. Because remember, no one is in charge of your opinion. No one is in charge of your decisions. No one is in charge of your feelings and emotions. You are. You have power. You have so much power. And yet, so many people give it away to others. Uh, the other thing is, remember, the media is going through tons of filters. There's so many filters that they go through. And, and remember this as well. And I've, I've told this a million times. We have so many people, so many media outlets that used to, the newspapers used to do this. They would print a headline and so-and-so does so-and-so and everybody's shocked. The nation is, oh, outraged. And then two days later, that they find out that's completely not true. They didn't post another headline that says we were wrong. They'll never do that. They would post a retraction on like page seven on the bottom, you know, somewhere in a corner. So when they, they do this headline, which is a quick soundbite to get you angry and triggered, that's not true. It was not true. And the retraction comes back days later, but most people never see that. And nowadays in the media, they don't even do that. They don't even retract that kind of thing. Almost ever. You'll never see that. So they're first, they're going to get there to you and they're, they're wanting to get you riled up. So my advice, and which is this something I have done and I, it has changed my life immensely is stop watching the news. Stop watching the news. It's toxic. I listen to the radio. I don't listen to the radio. I don't listen to the news. It's mindless jibber jabber. And I don't listen to it anymore. And it, my life, my relationships, my communication, my business, my life, my manifesting has all gotten so much better and so much more powerful. I don't get upset when somebody says, oh, my God, did you hear what Trump did or did you hear what Biden did? Oh, my God. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't pertain to me. I don't give my anger to something like that because I'm like, OK, so what does that have to do with me? What did I do? What can I do? Well, I can go and I can vote. I can vote and then I'm done. That's it. That's it. 
I can stew about whatever's going on. But like again, remember that I didn't, that doesn't do you any good. That makes you unattractive to other people because you're being toxic. You're being angry, and anger breeds anger. So if you're going around anger, angry all the time, that energy is being soaked out, soaked in by other people, and they don't want to be around you. So if you're cool and relaxed and somebody says, oh, did you hear what Trump did? You go, you know what? I don't care. It doesn't matter to me because my life is – I'm in charge of my life, and whatever he does, I'll pivot. Whatever Biden or whoever is the president, I don't care, Obama, Bush, it doesn't matter. I'll pivot. I'll pivot. I'll do something here. I'll do something there. Very seldom. Like I said, I've been around a while. So this has not changed for – since I was, what, second grade, and it was President Ford. So it has not changed, and it will not change. It'll be the same, uh, the next president, the next president, the next president, you know, et cetera. So um, the bottom line, do your best to focus on who you are. You're powerful. You are incredibly powerful. Understand that. And you can make a choice, a decision to not let other people's filters trigger you. Because remember, they can't, they can't trigger you if there's no ammunition, ammunition to trigger you with. You don't give them that. A great book on this is uh, a great book on mindset. It's one of the best books ever written. Uh, it's called Man's Search for Meaning uh, by uh, Dr. Viktor Frankl. I highly recommend you all read that. He was in the Nazi internment camps, and he had to he had to use his mindset to survive. And he wrote this book after that. And it's, it's so powerful. It's so powerful that you have so much power inside of you. And I want each and every one of you, I wish the absolute best for each and every one of you, because if you are being too busy being triggered, then you are at somebody else's uh, whim. You are in a victim place that is not powerful for you. Um, and it's hurtful. It hurts your heart. And again, like I said, it hurts your immune system if you're being angry all the time. So be careful with that. Work on getting over to you. You have the power. You are in charge. And you work on the gratitude of the things that you actually have right now. And that will help your immune system to build up and be more powerful because it's a little crazy out there right now. So I just want the best for each and every one of you. So let's not be triggered anymore. Let's realize that that is a choice. Unless, like I said, unless the medical thing, it's a big, big deal. That's fine. But I'm talking about the everyday people who are using triggering as an excuse to be angry and hold on to that and lash out at others. Let's stop that. You have the choice. You have the power. And I'm excited to see you use it. So uh, you can always find me on uh, on iTunes, on YouTube, my Facebook page, on spikespencer.com. I'd love to have you. love to talk to you more. Uh, please go listen to this podcast. If you're listening right now, please, five-star reviews and, and comments. And I'd love to connect with you guys. So uh, have a wonderful day. And I will see you on the next Mind Scrambler podcast. Bye-bye. All right, guys, I am back. Hello, everybody. So let's see. Um, we got some uh, trolls over here on YouTube. Good to see you guys. Uh, always happy. Great. Good for you guys. Uh, let's see. So ecstatic is cool. Well, you know, uh, ecstatic is, I'm glad you're here. Um, these are things that, you know, you come to these things, these ideas, when you come to these ideas. And there's, there is so much you can do with that. You've got so many things that you can uh, absolutely um, work with and, and be more powerful and better. So I'm glad that uh, you've come to check this out because it's really great. I mean, and you guys, the other guys, the troll guys, hey, you know what? I got a great podcast for you. You're your biggest troll. So you might want to check that out. Well, thanks, Ecstaticus. That is uh, one of the... Um, one of the tenets of neurolinguistic programming is the cause versus effect. Uh, and for the, those of you that don't know, uh, neurolinguistic programming is somewhat the basis for uh, like Tony Robbins teaching. That's what got him started. And uh, my coach was, coaches his people. So it's very, very powerful stuff. Uh, and I'm glad you guys are, are getting involved and, and learning uh, some of this. And it's, it's in my podcast. I, I do a lot of that. That's not my only thing, but that's a, a big part of the training and coaching uh, that I do and have done. Uh, I love them. Well, thank you, Melissa. I appreciate that. And Ashley and Luigi and William. That's awesome. Uh, so 
yeah, the cooking series. You know, I don't know what's. Uh, hey, Kelsey, how are you? Um, yeah, the cooking series. Now, some of you guys may not see what who I'm talking to because I've got um, YouTube, Facebook, and uh, Twitch going at the same time. So if I'm talking to somebody and they're on Twitch uh, and you're not on Twitch, then you're not going to see them. That's so, so you understand. Uh, first time in the stream, Richard the Espion. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, <clears throat> as I said, I'm doing this on three different platforms at this moment in time via StreamYard, which is freaking awesome, by the way. Um, and this was a really good podcast. I, I, I really enjoyed doing this podcast. I think, uh, you know, far too many people are being triggered for no reason and not realizing it's a choice. You know, usually I won't get triggered, but if I do get, you know, quote unquote triggered, it's a reaction. And I realize that and I'm through it in about five minutes. Usually, uh, they say, you know, five minutes, if you're more angry after five minutes, it's a choice now. Because sometimes if you're angry, it's an emotion. Feel the anger. Let it flow through. Let it go through. You know, get ready. You've got to process it. So that's cool. You know, you process that. That's fine. That people that keep it, you know, pent up and all that, that's where people lash out down the road later on. So if you're letting it go, then that's that's fine. That's therapeutic. Um, but if you hold on to it any longer than that, it's it's not good for you. Um so Richard, yeah, I'm, I'm just now starting to do live uh, YouTube because now when I do my podcast or my Mind Scrambler show, uh, I'm doing it to all these places. So uh, great. I'm glad you're here. Keep coming. Keep seeing me. And please subscribe uh, there on YouTube. Same thing with you, Ecstaticus. Uh, see, I feel like the whole lockdown thing has taken a lot of power away from me. And I think I could have stopped it from being I mean, just I taking time to back from this. Yes, Ecstaticus. Yes, 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 yes. That is awesome. I love that. I love the fact that you said that because it is so true. So what you do, uh, listen to my podcasts, number one, or watch them. You've got YouTube. All my podcasts are on YouTube. I move them all over, so they're there. They're probably not well um, <clears throat> well labeled at this moment in time because I'm, I'm behind on a few things, but, but they are there. And uh, you should definitely uh, check it out. Uh, been a while, been a while. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of people have struggled triggers. Yep. Cover. Oh, awesome. Cool, cool. Good to see you. We're going to see you there, Kelsey. William, do I record off the cuff or do I use a script? Off the cuff. I don't use a script. I have a couple of little notes here on the side. I'll say, oh, yeah, talk about that. Talk about that. Talk about that. So, yeah, I don't use scripts. Um, it's free flow. I mean, I let it. This is stuff that I've learned. I've been doing this for a long time. And. The great thing, guys, about this particular topic is that when you look, it depends on how you look at it. So if you watch somebody who comes in and, and you can both, you're both watching the same thing, right? You're both watching the same, let's say, piece of news or you're looking at the same post and one person is like, oh, anger, la, la, la. And you are like, hmm, that's interesting. Same post. Same words. And that's all they are. They're words on a screen. That's it. What's the difference? Someone's more in charge. Someone's more at cause. And someone is more at effect. The person that's effect is swinging wildly because they're angry about you know God knows what. And why? Because they feel powerless. Powerless is a huge, huge problem. I'm telling you. Because powerless is... One of my my words of power and powerless are two of my big things, and being powerless is just horrible. Pa being powerless is also a mindset. I think. Ooh, I think I'm gonna, that's gonna, that's another podcast right there. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna put that down. Da, 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 da. Powerless is a mindset. Cool. I misspelled it. Now it's an M mindset. I don't even know what that means. Powerless is a mindset. Cool. Um, and that makes sense. Because, see, what I say, what I did, uh, my mindset, is, you know, being powerless is like when I you have no money, you have this, blah, 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 you have no, things aren't going well for you. Well, even when things aren't going well for you, you can have the mindset that you're a failure. Or you have the mindset, it's like, great, I'm at rock bottom. Nowhere to go but up. 
See the two different mindsets. It's like, okay, I'm in charge. I am laying my foundation. Well, where's a better place to lay your foundation than rock bottom? Oh, my God, that's good. I need to put that down. Hold on. Okay. Sometimes they just flow and it comes to me. I'm like, what? That's cool. Uh, it's good to write things down. Do it on my podcast. Yeah. Oh, man. I do. We have so many. I have so many things written down that I haven't even looked at. I'll write it down and then go. I, if I just brought them all up, I would have so many ideas, but I keep not looking back at them. I really should. Um, let's see. You're still doing voice work lately on the side for your podcast. You do. We do audition when you're in contact for all. Um, yeah, some. I audition. I mean, like last week I did a, a, a video game that I had already done prior, so they brought me back for that. I've got another one coming up, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. Um, you know, and I've got auditions. I really have like five or six auditions I need to get out today. Um, but that's, that's on my, that's, that's secondary because of my coaching. I'm building up my coaching practice and uh, bringing in clients and, and things. So if any of you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, well, I have programs. Go to spikespencer.com slash coaching. Check it out. Uh, let's see. Rock Bottom Foundation is a great place to start. Yes, it is, my friend. Yes, it is. Uh, anyway, so that's uh, this is awesome, guys. I'm really glad to have you here, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the podcast, and that will be coming up. This one will probably – let's see. Where will it be? Yeah, it'll probably be not until October. So I release like one a week, um, and so I'm going to be working on that today, getting some of those – uh, lined up to be released. I've got to do some editing and get them on Libsyn and get them scheduled. Um, and I recently, now two uh, two podcasts ago, I did my first interview with Kim. And now that I've got StreamYard, I'm trying to figure out how exactly uh, to work it. So I'm going to be playing with that a little bit as well because I have other people I'm going to be interviews with. And I want to get them going. I want to get it done. So people can check it out. Um, that's it. That's it for my day, guys. Um, if there's anybody has any questions, uh, thank you so much. Check out my, um, let's see, what, which one do I have here? That's okay. Here's the, um, uh, here's the link to, boom. Here's the link to the Black Hills Con that is happening. Uh, let's see where, depending on where you are, it'll be happening, uh, in two days, I believe. Uh, you can come do one-on-one -on -one with me, Amanda Wen Lee, Tiffany Grant, uh, and Allison, uh, you can do, you can chat with all of us there. Uh, if you want to listen to the Mind Scrambler podcast, here is where to go. And please remember, give me a five-star review and, and write out reviews, please write out reviews. Tell me, say why it's an awesome podcast and what you learned there. And finally, last but not least, these, if you would like to be on my mailing list, which I highly recommend so that I can keep you in touch and let you know what's going on. This is where you sign up on my fan club. That's, I just, it's fan club, whatever you can say, sign up or whatever, but it's on my fan club site. Um, because if you want to hear from me, you're probably a fan, right? Okay. I've got it. Anyway, um, that has been, uh, it has been a wonderful day today. I am really glad. Thank you, Ecstaticus. I appreciate that. Uh, what I think outrage is so prominent. For exactly why I said today in the, in the podcast, because people are feeling powerless, because they're not at cause. If they're at effect, they're powerless. They're that bag in the wind, and they have no power, and they lash out because they're angry, fear, sadness, guilt, shame, etc. It's so much going on, and they don't realize that they have power, and that power is to get over a cause and make the decision to not be outraged and understand why all the filters and everything's coming in. There's so much BS out there that you're being played. So anyway, guys, um, you can hear a lot more of this on my podcast. I've got, I don't know, 30 or 40 uh, out there I'm um, working on. So uh, start listening. Start checking them out and give me those reviews and keep in touch and come see me. Uh, I probably won't be doing another one until Monday. So sometimes it's just a chit-chat, a little Mind Scrambler show. Sometimes it's a Mind Scrambler podcast, and it's usually noted in the thing that I print. If, I, if, if you look at it and you go, oh, it's the Mind Scrambler podcast, He's going to be talking about something. If it's not, it's just the Mind Scrambler show. So it's my hanging out, talking, uh, chatting with you. So that's it, guys. Have a wonderful 
evening, day, or whatever it is, wherever you are. And remember, get yourself at cause, 100% at power, because you have the power. Nobody else is in charge of you, but you. See you guys later. Have a great day.